Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David and welcome to my weekly Sunday blog. This is the video where I tell you guys what's been going on, what's coming up. And uh, if there's anything co concerning the media or when the news, this is the video where I give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it, okay? Like a new movie or whatever. Um, so I didn't make a Sunday blog last week. Why? Because I've been so freaking busy. It's been insane, crazy, ridiculously busy the past couple of weeks, okay? I have to say that the past couple of weeks have probably been the most stressful and frustrating weeks of my life, okay? So I was going to make a huge video about this, like an epic announcement and all that. But uh, because of all the crap that happened, I couldn't do that. I'm just going to tell you in this video. I bought an Xbox 360. Okay, it was a very good deal. I got on eBay, it came with the console, the Kinect was like an HD DVD player, remote control, um, headset, and came with eight games, including Grand Theft Auto V. I finally can get my hands on Grand Theft Auto V. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to play for a little bit, play it online, play a little bit of the story and do the missions. I'm going to make an epic Grand Theft Auto video that you guys have been always wanting because I finally get to play Grand Theft Auto V. The box came, it was ripped open, it was all smashed up. Half the stuff was missing. Okay, so I'll give you an update on what's what I what I what I don't have anymore. Okay, but I spent money on and some, the huge investigation that happened and all the complaints I had to file and all the paperwork I had to deal with. So uh, I'll get to that in a second. First of all, work. I've been having my hours have tripled at work, going overtime. Going, it's just been crazy. Okay, and someone quit, so I had to pick up their hours. And I work 11 p.m., which for a lot of people is when they go to bed, okay? That's when I have to go to, go to work. And then 7 a.m., which is when people wake up, that's when I come home. And usually, you know, that means, oh, I can sleep all day, right? No. <laughs> there was, like, meetings, appointments, um, all these errands and chores and all this. this uh, my friends want to hang out, stuff like that, right? So it's just been crazy. I don't have... I, last yesterday was the first time I actually slept more than, like, four hours for the entire 24 hours day, right? So it's just been crazy. I have to go to work at night and all day. I have all this, all this stuff to do, okay? And, uh... Because of that, I just haven't had time to play games or whatever. The River Festival was going on also. Uh, my friends wanted to hang out and do like stuff like that. I actually uploaded the video for the first day. Had a carnival, parade, there was like food and mu live music and stuff like that. It was, it was great, okay? In the past, it was a lot better, you know? Like uh, this year, they had the symphony orchestra do the music. But in the past, they had like Daughtry, Celine Dion, they had Green Day, and, and Kobe Calais stopped by. I mean, it's not a free event, by the way. This is something you have to pay to go in for admission, stuff like that. And it's a pretty good deal, by the way. You pay once, and throughout the entire week, there's like multiple guests and celebrity concerts and stuff like that. It's great. So I, I usually go every year, try to get my money's worth, and go every day and stuff like that. Um, so that's been going on, going with that with my friends, and then and I go with like different, different groups of friends, by the way. So it's not always the same people, um, and also they start on uh, every Thursday. They're gonna have this jazz festival concert thing, the Bradley Fair Summer Concerts, um, and it's like five minutes away from my house too. So there was like a huge lake, and people will go around it. And there's like a huge stage, and uh, usually they have some, you know, local music people. Um, have a music festival, okay? So it's pretty cool. I've been going to that also. And uh, because of work, uh, we actually have to celebrate Father's Day this week. It's next week. But Father's Day we celebrate this week because next week I won't be able to even spend time with my family. I'm at work all day. So if you're wondering where I am and why I'm not logging into PSN and stuff like that, now you know, okay? I've just been so freaking busy. Um, if I do play games, I'm going to play just for a few, a couple hours, and that's it. I, I just play something quick and uh, and then I just go to bed because I've I, I just been so busy and getting ready for the next day, you know? And, uh, okay, here's the thing. I've been thinking about this a lot. For those of you who've been sending me friend requests and uh, messages on, on PSN and I haven't been replying or have been you know, declining the friend request or whatever, send them again, I'll accept it this time, okay? I've just been so stressed out because every single time I log into PSN, I don't even get to play anymore, okay? Uh, usually people log online to play games, right? Or chat or send messages, whatever, right? I can't do that anymore. With the 800, 900 friends that I have on PSN, I don't even get a chance. The, the second I log in, 
bam, 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 bam. The top window is like constantly blinking with the, with the, with the gray box. So and so is online. So and so is offline. So and so is sending you a friend request. Uh, game invite, okay, whatever, and there are messages, whatever. So it literally crashes my system. So if you're ever wondering why David gets online and then like a minute later he gets offline, that's why. I, I just give up, okay? I was like, I can't stay online because it just crashes my system. It just, I have too many friends, okay? Um, so yeah, it's just been completely crazy. And uh, if you've been sending me messages recently, let me notice I've been replying to him. Unless you say something like, Hey David, I want to shout out your next video. Or, or uh, you know, can you make a video about me? And stuff like that. I get that a lot. Okay, I don't even know these people. And they said, Hey David, make a video about me. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why. People... So anyway, um, if you send me a question like that, I don't answer it. But people do ask me legitimate questions. They recommend games to me and stuff like that. I've been I've been replying to those recently. Okay, but I haven't logged into PSN probably like the past week or so, right? You, may, you guys probably noticed that. Um, and if I do, it's just for, a, you know, like a minute or two until it crashes my system, so whatever. So that's one of the reasons why I bought an Xbox 360. Let's talk about the Xbox 360, okay? I bought an Xbox 360, came with a console, okay? It's the old, older model, it has the, the fat version, the 20 gig version, okay? Um, comes with the Kinect. The Kinect has a couple features to it, too. Uh, a remote control, um, headset, um... The HD DVD player, I don't even have an HD DVD player, and you know, with Blu-ray being the, the winner of that format war, who needs it, but now I have one. Um, and, uh, and eight games. The, eight, the games, there was five Kinect games, like, you know, those workout dancing type games. The three that are not Kinect games, like Kinect Sports or whatever, Motor, uh, Forza Motorsport 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Call of Duty World at War. My favorite Call of Duty game, Comes with the system, awesome, right? Grand Theft Auto 5, I haven't played that. I finally get it now. I can finally, you know, play it and give you my thoughts on it. It's gonna be a huge epic video, talk about the entire series. Now that I actually experience it, I now can do that, but what happened? The box came, it was all ripped to shreds, it was all opened up, stuff was hanging out of it, and uh, only half the stuff was there. So let me tell you what I did not get, okay? I told you what, what I'm supposed to get, here's what happened. The headset wasn't there. Power cords, controllers, those, those are gone. Um, the Kinect box is gone. The Kinect itself is there. Um, the games. The only games that actually arrived were two Kinect games and Forza Motorsport 4. That's it. Grand Theft Auto 5, everything was, was missing, okay? And this really ticked me off right here. Um, the hard drive on the Xbox 360 was ripped out. No hard drive on the Xbox 360, okay? So that's what I don't have. Everything else is there. The console arrived and stuff like that, but there was no power cord. It was just crazy, okay? So what I, what I do, I file a complaint with USPS, okay, with the United States Post Office, which is who, the, who you know, uh, did all the, all the legwork for getting it over here. I contact the seller. Did you even pack this, these things, okay? And uh, I went on eBay, filed a complaint, made a case, a uh, huge investigation started. Yeah, so uh, the seller told me he feels bad. He says it's not his fault, apparently. He thinks that everything was stolen during shipment, which, you know, it looks like very convincing, okay? Um, so it's not really his fault. Not really the seller's fault. And, and, and to prove it to me, he actually is going to send me another package, okay? He's going to send me another package with some things to try and make up for it because there's no way I can give this guy a positive review on his uh, on his eBay page with what happened. There's no way, okay? So, everything was stolen from me, robbed, I paid for all this stuff and, and it didn't arrive, okay? So, uh, what happened was that I went ahead and I wanted to play my Xbox 360. I want to play my new console, okay? So I went out to GameStop and all these Best Buy and stuff like that. I bought everything. So I had to pay extra for things I'm supposed to already get. So I I got my Xbox 360 up. It's running now, okay? There's still no hard drive, by the way. I'm just it's running on a on a tiny USB, one of these flash drive things. One gig. That's all I have on my Xbox 360 for now. Um, it's just so this has been crazy. I've been playing games. I already set up my Xbox Live account. It's the same thing as my username on YouTube. Send me messages. Uh, if you send me a friend request, I probably won't accept it, okay? 
But I'm just saying, you can send me messages, we can talk on there. And the cool thing is that on Xbox 360, you don't have to be a friend with someone to invite someone to games. That's what I heard anyway. And uh, you can send me um, audio messages, okay? If you do that, I, I, I can probably make a video about uh, answering fan mail on Xbox 360 for the first time. I, I, I can probably do that, okay? But in the meantime, I'm just so frustrated because everything that I bought, you know, maybe I'll, I finally got Grand Theft Auto 5 and it didn't arrive. Like, it was... It was taken from me, okay? Hashed out the money to get it, and it didn't arrive. So, maybe I was just not me meant to have the games. <laughs> so, it's just, yeah, it's very stressful. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, really crazy, right? So, bad news. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing games. I just bought a whole bunch of games. You know, I was so excited when it came, and I was so disappointed. Oh, I gotta wait another day because you know it came at night, so I have to wait for the morning so I can buy, uh, you know, the controller and uh, all this extra stuff that I should have already gotten. You know, um, so I bought Gears of War one and two. I bought Halo three, and I bought a couple extra games that were like only like a couple bucks, like two, two, three dollars. Um, Ninety nine nights. It was like a little hack and slash. It looks like. Dynasty Warriors. If you play Dynasty Warriors, it looks just like it. Um, there was this other uh, Gun Witch or something like that. I don't know. It was like a little, little hack and slash game. Um, I already played it for a little bit. I didn't like it very much. But Gears of War wasn't so bad. Halo Three is not not bad either. Okay, I can I can really I can see myself getting into the Halo series, but it's not as fun as Call of Duty, you know. But I've already played a little bit of it already. Um. But yeah, until but I, I can't install games, I can't save my games until I get an actual hard drive on the system. So I I, I look for that, okay? I mean, it's not like something you just walk into, into Walmart and there it is, you know. So uh, they do have removable hard drives on the Xbox 360, by the way. If you don't know, the the hard drive is removable on the Xbox 360, but they don't really sell them anymore, you know. So where the heck am I supposed to get one? So until I look for one. It's supposed to be a 20 gigabyte hard drive, and now it's just one gig. <laughs> so, yeah, my life is, yeah. So, that's what's been, what's been going on. That's the games I got recently. But uh, so here's the thing: I got both systems. I, I got an Xbox 360. I got a PS3, and uh, I can't log in. And crazy. So. That's what's been going on with me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching, people. Rate, favorite, subscribe. I'll talk guys later.